holy mother of Jesus, this animated show from Max is good. Of course, this is the first time on my channel. My name is Rachel. I like to talk about animation. Of course, you've never heard of the show called Scavengers Ridge. It's basically a new anime series from Max that got picked up a couple years ago. It was basically a short that was so amazing. You could, They actually won so many different awards. So good that HBO Max or Warner Brothers picked it up to make it a series. Of course, if you want to see the original shorts, it's on YouTube. But besides that, how good is uh, Scavenger Ridge? I mean, the first three episodes, that was amazing. In fact, you don't need to see all three. Watch the first 30 seconds, you get hooked. Is that how everything starts, at least the very beginning, is the fact you hear certain two characters kind of talking, saying, oh, we lost a Connolly. Oh, we had to port this on higher ups. And the other one says, well, don't bother. They won't do anything because they will lose money to even try to look for them. The best thing we can do is let them die. Or hopefully they die because they don't want to be suffering. And that is sort of grabbing your attention. Like, how dark this was go. In a way, it's pretty dark, but great, creative, but also nihilistic, but at the same time, hopeful is sort of the best way to describe it. Like, I try not to ruin that much. In fact, this is the point I recommend turn off the video right now because the less you know the better because it really doesn't surprise you because you keep you guessing what's gonna happen next but if you don't you just want to know what it's about if you don't mind some spoilers even that if i tell you the spoilers it definitely not ruin it because the art the storytelling just grabs your attention i mean another good example is the next other 30 seconds you see one of the group members Certain surviving this unknown planet, we run an animal, that the animal is not screaming, that you see this old man just ripping the guts and reconnecting, taking things from this animal, and this animal doesn't feel anything. He just, okay, cool, he just walks away. But it keeps showing how creative and unique this planet really is, because the animals, the plants, mother nature herself is so a so fluent that it feels science and mother nature becoming one like they quite literally take a vine and use it like a wire to connect a battery to charge another battery even that is just a vine but the vine doesn't look like a vine it looks something else but it's kind of comes really hard that you want to be used when you turn it off it kind of becomes the vine again and that's what i mean everything you use at this planet is usable it's a lack sort of your imagination your sort of understanding of science for common sense in fact you start you follow three kind of specific groups each one is completely different but each one sort of connected who they are and how they got there because you see in the present but pretend which episode you go you find one of the characters but you see the past what they did before they got there but just a little bit to intrigue you how they got there, you understand their personalities and the sort of scenario they got there. And that is sort of grabbing even more in your attention because it's the world is just creative, how they attempted to survive. Let's start from the first group. Uh, the main lead for right now is Sam, this sort of old geezer who is, I can say, the captain of this comedy that he's trying to restart and scavenge all the little pots he can find to keep moving forward with her his assistant ursula and trying to figure out how to survive and you just see them sort of thinking like what we they, there's basically like a small little building there they're trying to go in but they can't go in because it has poison so they use this weird little ball that tap on it and this thing is sort of a bug with like little wires popping out they put it on but I love it how realistic it really is. It's just sort of, when you see this, will you put it on? No, you don't. I mean, you kind of need to because the situation they're putting themselves. And it actually does work. Once again, science and uh, my nature working together. You have to use it to breathe. But it's still a living organism stuck to your face. But you sort of see our main lead sort of uncomfortable. But at the same time, it's the only way to use. But it also show you how dangerous and fragile this thing really is even going in you don't know this planet if you touch such a, touch something you kind of 
have mushroom pop out of your hands or break it apart. It's sort of very artistic, creative, almost like sort of 80s sort of type of uh, movies like Fire and Ice. Like you touch something, your finger will bend a certain way, a mushroom will pop out or crystal, or you just see a cycle of life passing through as an animal that fall in the hole, becoming old, becoming a scanty, being reborn as a plant. A lot of trippy things happen, but of course it warns you, you have to be careful what you touch. But you just see Sam and Orsa trying to adapt, trying to reactivate the only peace colony to get closer so they can leave. That's group one. Group two was basically Caleb. He's sort of the stuck inside a sort of capsule that he freaking out be delusional but you don't know who he is like the second episode they explore a little bit more that he sort of could be responsible the situation he got himself into in the crew is hinting that but yet his scenario is interesting is that he seems sort of delusions you think oh he's just normal delusion of madness no 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 there are wild alien creatures to give you delusions good delusions but they using you for feeding themselves or feeding their minds we don't know it's sort of your interpretation but one of these creatures is using Kellum for her own advantage and this is the thing we don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing the only thing knows it can feels maybe safe to episode 2 wondering maybe it's not safe because they keep using his wife or fiance or girlfriend the sort of backstory they don't sh tell you exactly what is the relationship but they you know it was friction with this woman so they use this woman to kind of convince uh Kellum to follow the alien but Kellum sort of knows but he doesn't know should I continue doing this but at the same time he feels alone he needs someone to talk to and that is sort of interesting like have the hands to do I do I trust this alien do I run away and it shows he run away he can actually die because he doesn't know how the planet actually works and that's just so interesting you have this sort of weird relationship that he this thing could kill me or i kill it or who knows this is actually is a good deal for both of us and that's the thing he grabs you just wonder what's going to happen next this sort of relationship is sort of be death at the very end or survival or something like that now the last one is still also interesting every time sci-fi have multiple different groups trying to survive the island one member is sort of less interested than the other they usually what happens but all three of them are interesting especially ozzy ozzy she herself is sort of like a farmer in a way that she trying to rebuild and make food for herself to survive with her assistant robot that is could be ai but at the same time, she doesn't know how it works. She doesn't know if the program she was given is actually working or is it makes functioning. Because every time she asks this world to do something, it does it. But it does other things that she's not sure is it programmed to do that or not to program to do that. Even the ask the question of the machine doesn't really know how to answer. And almost this robot has almost a soul. The way if I describe a soul. It's the memories who make the soul. So this robot is starting to understand and feel things, but it never hostile. At least that's what you think. This is what Ozzy thinks because she is sort of trying to understand this. He also very frustrated of this robot because are you helping me or are you against me? But all three of them kind of continue trying to move on and follow sort of beacon to the main mothership because is still trying to survive and each member kind of stuck in sort of situation like what we could do next like sam and ursula that's sort of what are our best options in how we kind of connect everybody should we turn the machine to bring the other machines here and the other people or they're dead because the economy is broken and those kind of choices grab your attention to each single episode even that you give it a little backstory with each character, just a little and little. You just wondering they gonna die, they gonna make the right choice. Well, the fact is more yet we put your position on I me, mean, not your. I mean, you put them 
in your position at their scenario, you think we do better. You think we make the right choice like them or not. Because that's the very end, making the right choice. Do I have something to do? Especially how the world is just so creative. You feel something from the 80s, like each single animal, alien, it's just beautiful and interesting, but at the same time, you don't know, should we use this or should we not use this? I mean, we don't know enough, enough information, but at the same time, we don't have a choice, risk it or die. And that's all about the survival in their scenario. Go to the Broken Colony, hope you meet the other members, and hope they don't die. He also sort of explained how the ship collapsed. It was Kayla, it was Sam, or it was all three of them to combine screwing around or not taking serious of their own job. There's so many questions, it's just sort of grab you, but yet it's just so much science fiction. I mean, the world is just so creative. This show by itself could be a cartoon of a year because how deep, interesting, and certain scenarios they put themselves just grabs you. Of course, I have that quick question. How you feel about this three episodes premiere? Do you love it? Do you hate it? You're hyped? Because this was a short became a series that I hope would be successful again in season two because Max sort of promoted, they try to promote it because they don't have the money or funds to promote it. So yeah, did you see the commercial of this anime series or not? Tell me down below, let me know. Honestly, I got nothing else to say. Just thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye.